Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to our new series, Subnautica. I know I was hinting to it on my Instagram um, in the past few weeks, and finally, finally we're doing it. So, um, I, I have barely played this game. I got on it one time. I watched a few videos on it, kind of just to grasp, like, a concept so that I know exactly what I'm doing. But uh, I have I have yet to play survival. As you see, I did on the 11th. I played uh, for about three hours, and I did it on uh, um, creative. But um, uh, we're gonna do it on uh, survival. Uh, you know, just the just the kind of we'll do it on survival, and um, we'll see how it goes. So this episode, episode one, it's going to be pretty short. Um, I do not have a lot of time today, and I also need to, you know, edit and stuff. And uh, if I do, uh, yeah, I'm pretty busy today, that's all I'm saying. So. Any button to continue. Oof. I didn't see this part. Oof. I didn't do anything with the story. I just, like, explored. I didn't even know there was a story. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, it makes medkits. Use repair tool. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. So I'm guessing we just gather break limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Best believe giving me these Johns. Okay, so we do need the surface. Can you eat these acid mushrooms? I'm gonna assume no, so I'll just drop all these. Oof, I didn't mean to drop that. Copper ore. Yeah, fire extinguisher. So how do I get food and stuff then? Do I gotta kill like the creatures?
Yeah, I can like grab them, right? Can I? I'm gonna go ahead and assume we should stay decently close to that life pod. There's probably food in there. What about the water? I mean, if it's salt water, you can boil salt water. Is that like what the thing is? How do I get food? New creature discovered. Just like that, the paper. Oh, you can let, you can, no. Come here. I can probably make food with this. Disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. So I got that now? Yeah. Huh. What's the orange one? Okay, that's my health. I can go down too. Ooh, that creepy. What is that? New creature discovered. The ladder fish. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay, well my whole goal for this episode is to kind of just get set on like food and stuff. Ooh, personal tools. Bladderfish, I need silicon, rubber. Water. Filter water. Let's go. Alright, sick. Might as well use that. That's about the. Uh, what is that? And storage container. Oh, I can put stuff in there. Switch contain. Oh! Flare. Flare. Nutrition block. Okay. Alright. This ain't bad. We're doing pretty decent. Ooh, what this? New creature discovered. Gary fish. <laughs> that doesn't sound, that sounds kind of creepy. I heard this game was like a horror game, like scary horror game or something. It's not all, I mean, it's a little unsettling, I guess. Ooh. I did forget about the O2. Ooh. What you? What is this thing? New creature discovered. That's cool. Metal scattered. Yeah, grab the metal. That's probably off the ship anyways.
I think we're good on food after this. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Ooh, those take up a lot. I'll leave all the food and water in there. I don't need the flares either. What does this do? Let me take a look. Oh well, wait, resources, basic metals. Okay, oh, personal equipment. Standard O2 tank, fire extinguisher don't need, pipe, floating air pump, floating device that pumps air into pipes. Okay, what's this? Deployables. Waterproof locker, small storage that contains position, it maintains position in the locker. This will be good, a nice storage system. Floating air, I don't... I'll take a standard O2 tank then. High capacity O2 tank. Okay, now that I got this, I'll go... Oh, so that's what it does. How do I pick it up? How do I pick up? Locker. I should put food in this. Ford. Ford, yes. Open storage. Waterproof locker is not empty. I cannot pick up. Oh, I get it. So it stays in my inventory, but I can put stuff in it. Okay. Okay, I get it. So, I'll throw the food in here. Go back, grab the food, throw it in there. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. So, yeah. There, food and water. Oh, it has to be empty for me to pick up? Okay. Ah. That's kind of stupid, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever, I'll put everything back in here then. They glow in the dark? That's actually kind of sick. Whoa! Well, there's the ship.
Dude, if, if I can pick up the thing, jeez. Yeah, I wanna see what I can use all this stuff for. Glass. High capacity O2 tank, standard O2 tank, glass, and silver ore. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. So, what does that mean? What the heck is that? Why can't I pick it up? Oh, what do I do? Oh, you can take screenshots? That's cool. Where's my thing? There we go. Well then. Knowing that these are useless. Not that. That isn't useless. That ain't useless. Useless, useless, useless. I want to see what this does. Take this and this. Okay. Oh, it just lights up underground. That's it. That's uh, pretty much what was expected. Now we can. Get rid of all the mushrooms. Because we don't need them. Alright! Um, it's taken... I guess I'll quench my thirst real quick here. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video today. Um, I really like this game so far. It's, uh, and like I said, I know this is short, but, um, I'm actually pretty busy today, so I can't really, um, can't really do anything right now, but, um, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I, it was probably a little boring. It's because I'm getting used to everything. Like I said, I only played in creative. I made like a little mini submarine thing. I kind of just drove around and looked at everything. 
Um, so far, I had a few people say, and, like, some things I saw on YouTube and stuff, it said, like, it was, like, a horror game or something. And I don't know if I'm just, like, not to that aspect yet, but, um, so far, I don't see it as a horror game, so I don't know. But, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Have a good day. And this, this game is going to make me hate water, isn't it? <laughs> It's gonna give me thassalophobia. Alright, that's it for the video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.